2.3 million people are in danger of starvation if the short rains fail. Special Programs Cabinet Secretary Margaret Cobia says the situation may be worsened by a 15 billion shillings funding gap that is needed to support water and food production projects in arid and semi-arid areas. Here are the details of this and other stories in our Business News Roundup. After four consecutive failed rain seasons in some parts of the country, 4.1 million people are food insecure, up from 3.5 million people in March. The government predicts that the number could rise and increase to 4.3 million people by December if the October to December short rains fail. To effectively mitigate the effects of drought, the government says 15 billion shillings is needed to roll out relief food programs in the affected 23 counties. Food insecurity face transportation. Three counties are in emergency, eight counties are in crisis, four counties are stressed, and the 24 counties are yet to be assessed. Meanwhile, scrap metal dealers are calling on the government to consider revising down the licensing fee to ensure more benefit from the trade. The Union of Scrap Metal Dealers in Kenya claimed that the high licensing fee has been a stumbling block for many potential scrap metal dealers. In order to look at the Scrap Metal Act 2015 uh, that was brought in, uh, that, that, that was enacted in 2015 without thorough input from the uh, major players of the industry who are the scrap metal dealers. So that's some of, those are some of the issues that we, we, we are going to try to address uh, so that we can have a conducive environment and atmosphere where the industry going forward uh, is, going to be, uh, is going to be suitable uh, working with. Elsewhere, the Capital Markets Authority has fined former board members and senior managers of Chase Bank and its reporting accountant Deloitte and Touche over their role in the issuance of a 10 billion shillings bond in 2015. Former Chase Bank Group Managing Director Duncan Kabui has been fined 5 million shillings and disqualified from being a director or key personnel of a company regulated by the Capital Market Authority for 10 years, while Deloitte has been fined 10 million shillings. Finally, the private sector activity shrunk for the fourth month in a row due to rising inflation and uncertainty around next week's election. This is according to the latest Stanbic Purchasing Managers Index, which shows that during the month of July, business activity declined at sharpest pace in 15 months, while employment increased for the first time in three months. Ndutamokami for Prime Edition.